volume of local anesthetic, approximately 0.5 milliliters per nerve. The traditional fluoroscopic technique for performing lumbar facet nerve blocks has several disadvantages, including radiation exposure, equipment availability, high capital and operational costs, and the inability to perform the blocks on pregnant patients. Ultrasound guidance enables direct visualization of the lumbar facet, as well as the needle position in relation to the joint. Severe obesity and grossly distorted spinal anatomy are contraindications to the procedure. The patient is placed prone with the abdomen supported by pillows to compensate for the natural lumbar lordosis. With a curved array transducer covered with a sterile probe sheath, the lumbar segments are identified in the longitudinal perovertebral plane. Lumbar transverse processes, visualized as highly echogenic rounded signals on ultrasound, can be counted moving cephalad from the superior border of the sacrum. After the target segment is identified, a transverse view is obtained and considered adequate when the three-step or saw sign structure is seen. This view is comprised by the highly echogenic spinous process superficially, the transverse process more deeply, and the zygopophyseal joint between these two bony landmarks. After sterile skin preparation, a 25 gauge needle with one milliliter of 1% lidocaine is used to raise a wheel of anesthetic at a point approximately six centimeters lateral from the midline. A 22 gauge eight centimeter spinal needle is introduced through the wheel. Using real-time ultrasound guidance, it is advanced towards the target point, which is the groove at the superior margin of the transverse process or adjacent to the corresponding superior articular process of the vertebra. The spinal needle can be visualized as an echogenic linear foreign body. After bone contact is made, a longitudinal paravertebral view is obtained to verify the needle tip position at the cephalad margin of the transverse process. If the needle tip is seen caudally, gently reposition at cephalad. 0.5 milliliters of 0.5% bupivacaine is injected into each point. Injection of the nerve at the corresponding spinal level and one level above is needed to anesthetize of the set joint. In your patient with low back pain, the right L3, L4 and L4, L5 zygopophyseal joints are suspected as the sources of pain. Using ultrasound, you are easily able to identify these target lumbar segments. For each of the four required injections, the spinal needle is visualized as it crosses the ultrasound beam and makes contact with the bone, and you are able to adequately visualize the needle at the cephalad margin of the transverse process. The patient tolerates the procedure well and returns home to monitor the intensity of his back pain. Lumbar facet, or zygopophyseal joint pain, is a fairly common cause of low back pain in certain subsets of patients. Lumbar facet joint injection is both a diagnostic and therapeutic procedure. Ultrasound guidance allows for direct visualization of the lumbar facet without fluoroscopy.